Hi guys, welcome to another beer review, the sophisticated edition. But you can't be sophisticated when you're um, overweight, so this isn't. And this is me overcompensating. Uh, but yeah, anyway, what the fuck was that intro? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so today we're going back over to Cloudwater. And we're having a look at a can of the A Fire by the Binds which is a double IPA, clocking in at 8% ABV. And this is a Southern Cross and New Zealand Cascade double IPA. And uh, artwork comes courtesy of Cloudwater's own Paul Jones with a photography, which seems to be the theme of a lot of their uh, recent releases. And uh, yeah, you can't really see it because the lighting's awful in this review, as is usually the case. But uh, yeah, it's a lovely photo of uh, the gang around a fire. So, our time at Freestyle Farms in April 2019 drew to a close with a feast prepared by their multi-talented crew. A fire followed in between a few remaining binds, illuminating the faces of growers, farmers, processing experts, and a few of the world's best brewers. So, uh, yeah, I think they've done a few beers uh, with New Zealand hops recently. Um, I actually had one earlier today, uh, which was a single um, hop. But yeah, I can't remember what it was. It was Pale Ale, though. I can't remember the name um, of the, the hop in question because uh, New Zealand hops are really hard to pronounce. And I'm uh, I'm just an ignorant fuck, apparently. So, brand-appropriate glassware. Let's see what we get of this one. And I uh, really look forward to this one because uh, this is the beer that um, Mary Hoppins on uh, Instagram... Uh, she was going for a bit of a lull with some of Cloudwater's beers, and this is the beer that's made her fall back in love with the brewery. And uh, yeah, I picked my friend uh, Craig up a can of this as well, so expect to see his review. Probably see that before mine, and that's probably the best view you'll ever see on my channel, is uh, my face obscured by a beer. And what a beer that looks like. And what a beer that looks like. And what a beer it is, in terms of appearance. Um, yeah, that is just like pure peach mango puree nothing's getting through that at all it even looks like cloudy honey um it's just so thick and dense looking and to the point where it's stained the head as well but yeah lovely muted turbid yellowy murkiness looks absolutely fantastic so let's see what we get on the nose <sighs> definitely get that cascade it's so familiar. Lovely, chewy, sweet, melony type characters. Not melony, but like melon like, I should say. A little bit of uh, soft citrus elements as well. Bit of um, grapefruit rind that's slightly dehydrated, so it's not as punchy. So pretentious. Um, blood orange. A little bit of pininess. There's a little bit of a sweet, sticky malt character coming through. I mean, a very jammy conserve like. I'm even getting something like a slight raspberry or blueberry aroma. So it's got a little bit of a tart berry tone. Anyway, smells really damn good. Nothing too in your face or anything like that, but still smells damn good. It even has like a sort of like freshly grated coconut element to it. Oh, it smells absolutely banging so let's give it a taste cheers guys come on now oh that's good mm -mm -mm. That is really good. Oh, I've realised my fingernail stain from hot sauce. There's a slight boozy element in there, but I think it's really well. Really well. I think it's a really good character. So you know that this is a double IPA. Very piney, resiny, sticky. It's got such a gorgeous mouthfeel to it. You know, 
I've said it every time I've, well, even though I've not really had too much experience with the hyped, you know, American IPAs, double IPAs and that sort of, God, how dirty are my fingers right now? That's what that, um, I, I can't, I can never remember what it's called, but it's, um, it's like that, uh, I think it's a Mexican, um, hot sauce, I can't remember what peppers, it's not cayenne pepper, but it comes with the little wooden top, because I made some, um, popcorn chicken and just like coated them in loads of it with a bit of like a really spicy sriracha so it's like stained my fingers but um where the fuck am i going with that i'm sorry for the bad language by the way but this is damn good that is silky smooth chewy as hell you know, with the, going back to my original point, with the American sort of big hype beers that I've had, the one thing that sometimes sets them apart from what we're producing here in the UK and surrounding territories is they get the body absolutely bang on. And Cloudwater have done this with this beer. This is probably one of the best bodied cloud water double IPAs that I've had this year. And I go out on a limb that this is probably the best cloud water IPA that I've had this year. I mean, I know I've had some absolute monsters uh, when it comes to like triple IPAs from cloud water, which they do so, so well. Um, but yeah, this is just. What I like about it, it's not too fruity. It's not too tropical. It's not too sweet. You do get those characters there. A little bit of mango. A little bit of melon. Loads of soft citrusy tones. There's a really sticky, resiny piney element to it as well a sweet sticky malt character it's jammy you get some very subtle sweet berry tones coming through that's bonkersly good it's just so satisfying even with that little bit of booziness, and it's got a little bit of greenness, so you know, this can could settle probably for a little bit longer, but it's not too sharp, it's not too abrasive, it's not too in your face or anything like that. It's just absolutely bang tidy, and nobody says bang tidy anymore, so you can you can tell how relevant I am. <coughs> but yeah, this is all the yes. And if, like Mary Hoppins from Instagram, um, you were starting to feel a little bit eh, when it comes to cloud water, and you wanted a beer that would rekindle, keeping it in tone with the theme of the beer, then this is definitely one to give a try. And I've said it counts times before, I'm never usually a fan of um, New Zealand hops, but this is just... It's like milky, yogurty, lovely bitterness on the back end. They've absolutely nailed it. Yeah, this is comparable to some of the stuff I've had from Other Half, Vale, uh, Trillium, Treehouse. It's definitely up there, and I think they've done an absolutely wonderful, wonderful job. Um, I just can't fault it, and I think I'd even like it more. When it's sort of um, settled down a little. I mean, this was canned on the 26th of September. Uh, fresh scale is... What? The 15th of December. And the best before date is the 15th of January. I think this could uh, get even better and more rounded... Uh, with maybe a few more weeks. And I'm recording this review on the 21st of October. Oh yeah, that's... 
That's definitely one of the best Cloud Water Double IPAs that I've had for a long time, and they've done some really damn good beers this year. Um, so yeah, it's it's a ten out of ten. If we can produce beers like this consistently, then you know what? We don't have to worry about paying, you know, like ten to twenty quid for a can of a double IPA from America. Although, don't get me wrong, I want all the other half that I can get my hands on because they're one of my favourite American breweries. But yeah, this is like up there with the likes of Dea who are producing some of the best affordable, big, hazy juice bombs out there. You know, this is up there. With, although, Verdant, I've not had too much from Verdant recently. That's wowed me, which is a real shame. Northern Monk, they're producing mm -hmm. absolutely... You know, stellar examples of this style. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. Cloudwater, I've done a wonderful job here. And it's something a little bit different. There's some slight unique quirks about that I can't put my finger on. But, um, yeah, Craig, if you're watching this before you've drank it, even though you'll probably have uploaded your video before me, you are in for an absolute treat, my friend. And anybody who can get their hands on this, this is cloud water at their finest for me. And if it wasn't uh, nine o'clock on a Monday evening after a tedious day of work, I'd be a lot more vocal and uh, animated. But then again, I don't usually get like that in general because um, you know, I cut myself off emotionally. Do you know what I mean? I internalize a lot. Probably got a lot of things that need to be addressed by um, a specialist. But, um, yeah, when I get a really good beer, I don't get too excited. I get so inside my own self that I'm just like, I want to indulge. I want to indulge in this. And this is one of those beers. And they've done an absolutely wonderful job. And, uh, yeah, I hope this is one of those beers that doesn't get overlooked because it's fantastic. It really, really is. So, 10 out of 10 from me. If you've tried it, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Stop doing hand gestures like that. Um, what's your favourite Cloudwater beer this year? This is definitely up there with one of the best beers I've had uh, in 2019. And I can say that legitimately because we're almost approaching um, the end of the year. So this is definitely a contender. Um, it really, really, I can't, I can't compliment this beer enough. I really, really can't. I think they've done an absolutely wonderful job. And, um, yeah, I'd like more of this, please. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's nearly finished already. And I'll tell you something. I was saying that there was a bit of a booziness. That's subsided, and it's become a lot easier to drink now. It's breathing in the glass. And I think this is one of those examples where if you drank it out of the can, you'd probably get, you know, like sort of an alchemist um, experience. Maybe that is the best way to drink these beers. Straight from the can. Who knows? I don't know. Who cares? Drink beer the way you want to drink beer. If you want to drink it at room temperature, drink it at room temperature. If you want to drink it ice cold, drink it ice cold. If you want to drink it out of a red plastic cup or a coffee cup or, you know, the correct glassware. You be you. You do it the way you want to. And uh, I'm getting spam messages now which is fucking annoying because you can hear it and it's so fucking frustrating. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Check out Cloudwater. Pick this up from uh, Cloudwater themselves. Someone's trying to ring me. It's fucking annoying.